Okay, Sokotoa. Do you know what that means? I think so. Okay. Sine opposite hypotenuse. Um, cosine adjacent to the hypotenuse again. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so let's say I draw a triangle, and I'm going to draw it a little funny. Um, so the right angle is at the top. And then we're going to look at this angle in the mm -hmm. corner. Let's call it uh, A. Okay. Um, what is... And then let's label these as lowercase. Uh, we'll call this X. We'll call this Y. And we'll call this Z. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what is sine of A? Sine of A. Sine of A in this picture, what is it? Um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, the opposite is um, X over Z. Okay. And so, how do you do the opposite, right? The... Opposite, if I draw like an arrow through the angle, that tells mm -hmm. me the opposite. Okay, so sine of A is X over Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, cosine of A. Cosine of A is, what's adjacent? How do you figure out which one's adjacent? It's the one next to it. Right, or I, I just say it's the leg that's not opposite. Um, <laughs> because. But there's only one opposite leg. Exactly. So there's one opposite leg. There's one adjacent leg. The problem with there's calling Y adjacent sometimes is that the hypotenuse is also adjacent. Yeah. And so that always personally confused me when I first learned this stuff. Um, so but it's have, however, however you, you want to uh, Can you ever call the hypotenuse adjacent? Um, I mean, it's adjacent in the sense that uh, it is next to the angle, but... When we say adjacent in this uh, mnemonic device, um, the assumption is that O and A are Not legs, opinion. right? And H is the hypotenuse. Okay. Okay. And then finally, tangent of A is what? Opposite over adjacent, so X over Y. Okay. And notice that, um, have you read that tangent of A is sine of A over cosine of A? This is another, this is a fact that you may or may not have encountered. Yeah. You didn't. So let's go ahead and prove that to ourselves. If I do X over Z. Mm hmm divided by y over z. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just division of fractions. So it's x over z times z over y. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And there we go. x over y, yeah, it works. So we're convinced now the tangent really is um, sine over cosine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our basic setup of Sokotoa, maybe I'll keep it very small and up and to the left. Put and box it. let's use Sokotoa to answer the questions on the, on the worksheet. Um, so the questions on the worksheet say find the missing side. Um, and as written, we have X17, and they tell us that... That's a right angle. The right angle, and we have 38 degrees. Um, That's it. So, 17 and X represent what sides compared to the angle? Hmm? So, if I have an angle over here, mm -hmm. then I've got opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. All right? In this situation, we have an angle. Where's the opposite? Where's the adjacent? Where's the hypotenuse? 
the opposite. The 17 is the opposite. All right. This is the adjacent that's unnamed. Mm-hmm. And the seven and this the X is the hypotenuse. Okay, so as the way it's set up, we're invited to write down a ratio involving the opposite and the hypotenuse. Uh huh. So what's the ratio involving the opposite and the hypotenuse? Sokotoa, S-O-H. S-O-H, uh, also known as sine. So sine of 38 equals 17 over X. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we can solve for X. Mm-hmm. So you do the calculator and tell me what sine of 38 is. What is it? 0. 0. 0.6156647563 I'm going to call it 67. Okay. That is equal to 17 over x. All right. Now what? Tell me what x is. What do I do? Um, both sides times x. Okay. So that gives me 0. 0.61537. Equals 17. And then finally... Both sides divided by 0. 0.6157. Okay. And you tell me what 17 divided by that mess is. Twenty seven point six, let's call it. Twenty seven point six one two five. Okay. Um so that tells us what X is. X is twenty seven point six one. Okay. So that's kind of the prototypical problem where uh, you're doing this could be called right triangle right triangles. Um, and then we'll call this like find the missing info. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so how would you find y? If I told you, uh, I also wanted you to find y, how could you find y? So, if you didn't know anything about trig, mm -hmm. and I handed you this triangle, and I told you this length, and I told you this length, how do you find that length? If you had this length, and you had this length. No, you had this length, and you had this length. Hmm. Well, you do have your... Do you have your what? You do have your... A pop. You have your hypotenuse. Right. But, and you have your um, what's it called? Opposite. The you have your opposite here and your hypotenuse. So using both. A little technical difficulty there. Uh, so since you have your op, you have the hypotenuse and you have the adjacent, or you have. The opposite, you can find the adjacent with this y. Okay, how? Using Sokotoa. You could use Sokotoa. I'm saying, what if you didn't know anything about trig? Mm. And I just handed you a right triangle. And I said, okay, this side's 27.6, and this side is 17. What do you do now? You assume it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle? No, you can't assume that. What's the first thing you learned about right triangles? They fit together to, oops, not what I meant to do. They fit together to form a square? Or they, raise they fit square? together to form a rectangle. rectangle. I, I think you, you're, you know what I'm getting at. Uh, it's the Pythagorean theorem. Yes. Y squared plus 17 squared equals 27.6 squared 1 dot 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 whatever it is squared so you could use that to find y right you could solve that equation mm -hmm.
But being the uh, avid practitioners of trigonometry that we are, um, how do I find how do I find y with trig at this point? Uh, you have your opposite, and you have your so sine. So sine, we already use sine of thirty eight, right? So we have opposite and we have adjacent. Those are already sorted out. No, I'm sorry. I said C again. I told you. I said I confuse hypotenuse with adjacent. We have the opposite opposite here and the hypotenuse here. Okay? So. We're missing the adjacent. What are the trig things that involve adjacent? Um, opposite of hypotenuse. Uh, there's a uh, cosine. Right. We have a choice. We don't want to use tangent. We have a choice of C... A, H, and T, O, A. Right, both of those involve adjacent. Um, my preference here would be to use tangent, and the only reason is uh, 17 is a lot easier number to deal with than 27.61. Uh, okay. okay, so what is tangent of 38? The tangent of 38. That's a good question. No, I mean in the picture. What's the picture? What, so, numerically, what is it? We say it's point... 0 0.7812, 85, 0 0.7, okay. 81, that's good enough. Two. And then that's equal to, what is it in the picture? That's equal to... Opposite. Opposite over adjacent, which is here. Right. So, in the picture, it's equal to that. 17 over y. And then we have the same kind of equation. Yeah. Right? So this is 17 over y, and uh, we can solve for y. Yes. It's no big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we'll end this video, and then we'll do another one so we don't get so long. All right?